any scotch or bourbon in this cozy little place? No. And I don't think you should have any more to drink. And I think you should get out of here before my fiancé gets back. He wouldn't like it if he saw you... Um, relax, Betty. It's not every day that a prominent physician visits his receptionist. No. Oh, come on, be friendly. No! Hey, that's not... That's not very friendly. Listen, what? Come over here and sit down. I'm not, I won't touch you. Just, uh, just sit down and we'll get to know each other a little. Dr. Curtis, if you don't want any coffee, why don't you just go? Hi, honey. Oh, John. Oh. I thought you'd never get here. What took you so long? Oh, I just thought I'd walk over and... Hello? Who's he? This is Dr. Curtis. You know Dr. Curtis that I work for. He arrived shortly after you left for the store, and he, he won't go. Oh, listen, I'm, not, I'm Dr. Curtis. Betty's, uh, Betty's told me a lot about you. You must be the lucky young man. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't believe that uh, Betty told me your name. It's never mine. No, she's told me a lot about you, that you've been hassling her. I'll take it easy. I, I was in the neighborhood and I, I just stopped by for a cup of coffee. Isn't that okay? Take your hands off. What is this? Hmm? I think you better leave. Yeah, listen. Now. Okay, fine. Is that, that's what you want? Just, you know, <laughs> take it easy. Uh, Betty, I'll see you tomorrow. John? I don't know when I've been more glad to see anyone in my whole life. <laughs> Betty, I want you to quit your job. Okay. Don't worry. I will. Mm -hmm.